Hey, what's up my proppers? It's good to see you again. Uh, this is Ryan with McKinley Design Studio and I apologize for the delay on getting these finished gaffy sticks out to you. Uh, I've been getting a lot of requests for part three and I feel badly, sorry. But I, I, I've got them done. And what that means is I've got them done with metal. These things are pretty amazing. So uh, without further ado, I have been costuming with this for about three months and uh, man, I just, they look so cool on the back of my Obi-Wan, my Desert Tatooine Obi-Wan backpack costume. Um, I'll make sure to add some pictures in here as to how that looks, but I mean, you can see here just how gorgeous these things look. So this is the rifle, kind of the rifle stock, how it turned out. And then here is the acorn stock with the metal. Uh, my friend Austin over at Endless Wonder Studio, he did the metal work for me. I, like I said before, I haven't moved into welding yet. I kind of have to get a whole different like insurance configuration, I think, to be able to weld. So I've been dragging my feet on that. But you can see, I mean, these are, these are metal. Oh, they're so cool. But the tips are all rounded. Uh, all of the edges are rounded. So, I mean, I've done two conventions with these so far and I haven't gotten any guff on them. Uh, I know that there are some conventions that are really picky. And honestly, come on, really? Really? But anyway, uh, I am really excited with how these turned out. Now I'm gonna say this, after I finish this, I realize that this is probably a little tall. I probably could have dropped this down a little bit more. And if I was, I don't know, more picky, I guess I could, I, I could kind of cut this down and I could probably drop this a little bit more, but I'm not gonna do it. You know why? Cause uh, I did this and this is how it looks when I did it. And nobody's pulled up my uh, pictures and looked at my costume and said, oh, your gaffy stick acorn nub, your bantha gum stimulator is a little off. Nobody said that. And uh, even if they did, I would just be like, eh, all right, what's yours look like? And then they would have nothing to show me and I would win the argument. So um, I did, I, I did not glue these in. They're fit really tight though. So if I had to take these out to like travel on an airplane and put them in a suitcase, I could, but uh, I don't want to loosen the wood up. But anyway, uh, let me let me get you some more close-ups of these so you can kind of compare them. One second here. You can just see what a cool job. A nice weld. I don't know how to finish that sentence. It's just a cool job. After seeing uh, Boba Fett, Book of Boba Fett, his gaffy stick, you know, his little dental stimulator or whatever, it was a lot different than any of the ones that we'd seen before in any of the other movies. And so I'm okay with there being a little bit of individual charm to, to my gaffies. It's all right. So there's the there's the finished backpack. They uh, they go up underneath here. I, I don't have them on there right now because that's the space that I have for display and it takes up too much space. But you know you can see the rifle and see all that good stuff. So that's what that guy looks like. I think he looks pretty cool. There you go. I hope you uh, liked watching that build. I'll link to my other videos too, and I'll link to maybe some of the finished backpack stuff just so you can get a sense of how this all looks together. But thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.